Want to help the channel? Go to shopclownfish.com where you can check out official Clownfish TV merchandise and our brand new shop. It helps us out. Also, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash clownfish TV for more art and gaming live streams that we don't do on YouTube. We want to see you over there as well. Now let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and Hollywood is going to face the music, I believe, this year. It's been announced that Bill and Ted 3 is going to video on demand on September 1st. And it's also going to hit select cinemas, select cinemas simultaneously. Could this be the new normal for Hollywood. Could this be how movies are viewed from now on, that they go uh, simultaneously to video on demand and to theaters? Uh, it's very possible. It's very possible that the pandemic has turned out to be the disruption that the motion picture industry kind of needed, I think, to tip everything over to streaming. And, you know, it's been a long time coming because we've seen movies even before the pandemic, the release window, uh, between the theatrical release and, and streaming and digital, uh, you know, just it keeps shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. And with people having, you know, in some cases, a better setup at home than they would get in the movie theater, you know, the expense of going to the theater, finding a babysitter, driving to the theater, parking, all of that can be eliminated. And this might be the new normal. It might be that movies, you know, you basically do a pay-per-view thing with a new release uh, you can watch it at home you can watch it in the theater if theaters are still open in your area and we're going to talk about that because amc is not doing well either uh, because of the pandemic and they haven't been but it's looking pretty bad they keep pushing back their opening which is going to be catastrophic for hollywood hollywood which is already in trouble uh deep deep trouble and we're gonna see a new normal in 2021 and bill and ted weirdly enough might be <laughs> might be leading uh the way so we'll talk first about bill and ted and uh gonna give some thoughts on the movie i, I gotta tell you um as much as it's good to see these two guys back together again my feeling on my personal feeling on bill and ted is that it's very much like ghostbusters where it was lightning in the bottle when it was made and you can't really replicate it the sequel didn't even replicate it and it was the same with ghostbusters like ghostbusters 2 was nowhere near as good as ghostbusters 1 there was just something about that movie um you know the time and place it was made the the culture at the time that it just it resonated with people and i think bill and ted was the same way you're never going to have another bill and ted one you know so i'm not terribly excited about the movie i know a lot of people were i was just kind of like no i've seen these these trips down memory lane before and they never you can never go home again you know but it's kind of cool to see them at least try right so bill and ted 3 to hit vod and select cinemas simultaneously amid ongoing pandemic coming from hollywood reporter keanu reeves and alec winter reprise their roles as theodore ted logan and william bill s preston esquire in the threequel the threequel the wild stallions will travel in a different route this time around now before i get into that saw the new trailer there is a new trailer up it does show a little bit more of the plot and geeky immediately was like oh they're showing the daughters as as teenagers or young adults the daughters are going to be the wild stallions that uh you know write the songs that unite the world uh, it's going to be the daughters so we're going to have the uh the male lead sidelined for the female characters she's like i'm calling it now and i have heard rumors before that people were worried this this movie was going to go uh quote unquote woke and it's very possible uh it does i don't know but it's going direct direct to dvd or direct to to streaming for now right uh due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic bill and ted face the music will bypass a traditional theatrical route and debut simultaneously on premium VOD and in any cinemas willing to play the threequel on September 1st. We're, we're going to talk about who's going to be open. Uh, nobody nobody might be open. I don't know. Orion Pictures confirmed the shift early Thursday when releasing a second trailer in advance of a virtual Comic-Con panel set to take place this weekend. The fan-centric film stars Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter reprising their roles as 
Ted Logan and Bill Preston to once again parade through time on, in their iconic foam booth now with Les George Carlin. Another reason why I'm not really looking forward to it, but I digress. Now adults, the pair, enlist the help of their daughters in a wild adventure to save the world. Bill and Ted 3, an acquisition title for... I love how they just... It's so cold. Bill and Ted 3 is an acquisition title for Orion. It's the latest Hollywood studio film to opt for a non-traditional release and make itself available on premium VOD or streaming amid the ongoing pandemic and theater closures. They said right now Hollywood is not too concerned about smaller films like Bill and Ted 3 or The King of Staten Island or Irresistible being VOD, but, you know, the tentpole movies, Tenet, Mulan, etc., uh, Wonder Woman 84, you know, they're going to wait for a theatrical release for those. I don't know. I mean, I got to be honest. I don't know how Bill and Ted 3 was going to do in the theaters anyway. Um, you know, I, they really have not shown a lot of this movie. We've gotten two trailers, but I, I don't think there are a whole lot of spoilers out there. There's not. There was a lot of buzz initially, but I don't know. I mean, it could just be me. I'm just not, I'm not really hearing a whole lot of buzz about it. It's like, oh, by the way, they're making another Bill and Ted. Um, they're making another Bill and Ted movie. Oh, well, okay. Uh, insiders say Orion and the filmmakers came to the conclusion that they had to alter their plans in order to give consumers a choice they feel comfortable with and that a one size fits all approach is no longer viable. Okay. So are we going to have the, uh, the movie theater people ranting about this like they did with Trolls? Like, how very dare you? How very dare you pass us by? Like, well, the studios have to make money, right? They can't stay shut down all year. They can't just not make money because the theater owners might feel bad. Uh, if they have a way to get this movie in some form and recoup some money, they're going to do it. But what you know this does is set a precedent for a new normal, which is simultaneous release. Go to a theater you know, or watched at home. And it might be that maybe after the pandemic, we only have a, uh, a difference of a couple of weeks between a theatrical release and, uh, you know, the, the VOD release. I, I think that's probably more likely. I mean, doing it at the exact same time, uh, unless the area you're in doesn't have a theater, it just seems like that, that that's kind of a no brainer. Most people are probably just going to stay home. You'd save so much money. Uh, internationally, where theaters have begun reopening in earnest, independent distributors in a number of markets are pursuing a theatrical release for Bill & Ted 3. Historically, most mainstream theaters won't play a movie that busts the three-month window and debuts early at home. Drive-in theaters mainstay in independent cinemas are, are, are an exception. Staten Island wasn't made available to theaters. Irresistible was. Uh, watch the trailer. It does... Eh, eh, eh. It looks okay. It, it looks okay. It doesn't look like... So I mean, I'm going to be honest. I love the original Bill and Ted. But, I, you know, I, it's not something I think I would go to the theater to see anyway. And uh, I think Geeky's right. I think it's going to wind up... Or it's going to turn out that they're going to sideline Bill and Ted as the Wild Stallions and have the daughters be the ones who write the songs that unite the world. Because their dads... Their dads are failures, right? That's what we have to do. So AMC postponing, reopening again as summer blockbusters are delayed. It's coming from CNN this morning, actually. Uh, yeah, the world's biggest movie theater chain is postponing the reopening of its U.S. theaters to mid to late August, the company said on Thursday. AMC was set to have a phased reopening on July 15th. And they're hoping to be fully operational by July 24th. That's not going to happen. The date was pushed back to July 30th. The reason for another delay is simple. There are no new movies to show. Now, theaters around here, again, the drive-ins are showing old movies. Like a couple weekends ago, it was Steven Spielberg weekend. They had Jurassic Park and Jaws. Uh, they had another weekend where they had Goonies and something else. I don't remember what it was, but they've been rerunning 80s movies because, you know, we know the 80s movies are the best. And they've been rerunning a lot of, you know, 80s and 90s movies. Uh, the, the new timing reflects currently expected release dates for much-anticipated blockbusters like Tenet and Mulan. Tenet got pushed back as well as release dates for several other new movies. Uh, Warner Brothers announced earlier this week they would take Tenet, Christopher Nolan's new twisty thriller, set to premiere August 12th, off the release calendar for now. Nobody knows when it's actually going to open. So Mulan is supposed to open on August 21st. Disney might walk that one back. We don't know what's going to happen yet. 
And if the release date stays put, AMC would have a banner title to showcase in hopes of bringing audiences back to the movies. Uh, that may prove difficult, however, since coronavirus cases are spiking across the country, including in Los Angeles. The theater chain announced last month it's implementing new safety and health measures to keep moviegoers safe. We're cleaning it. We're actually cleaning it. The theaters don't smell like piss anymore. Piss and popcorn. They don't smell like piss and popcorn. Come on down. Watch a movie. Uh, don't sue us if you get sick, right? The new health and sanitation program titled AMC Safe and Clean will include measures such as requiring all guests to wear masks, initially capping movie showtimes at a lower capacity, and upgrading ventilation systems in theaters. Uh, I think the ventilation system they need is going to be the one that keeps the, uh, the motion picture industry on life support. Because Hollywood, this just shows you, like Hollywood, for all the glitz and the glamour and talking about the money, the money that's flowing in Hollywood, they, they can't even be down a couple of months. You know, they can't even be down a couple of months. We've got people scrambling for cash, borrowing money, uh, you know, a couple weeks into the pandemic. Disney and some other studios, I think Warner Brothers borrowed some money too. They can't afford to be down at all. And uh, they're going to be down most of the year. They might be down. They might be down all year. Who knows? I mean, if the cases keep spiking, the governments uh, might push to, to just stay shut down the rest of the year. And then what are you going to do? So there we go, guys. Bill and Ted uh, VOD September 1st. I might actually check it out since I don't have to go anywhere. Uh, but if they were going to want like 25 bucks to see it, I'm like, eh, nah, that's OK. I'm good. I'm good. Going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. And we'll talk later. Hey, guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.